Who gets a voice within an organisation to say how it should run? Well, Housing Association Abri says its customers should have the biggest say. We sat down with Gary Orr, Abri's Group Chief Executive, to see how he hopes its new regional model could become a blueprint for collaboration in the sector. Abri's DNA lies in the creation of this first group of houses in 1925, built with an understanding of the need for quality in local housing, with green spaces for a healthy environment. The existing housing associations came together a few years ago with a renewed mission to provide great housing across their regions. One of the key founding objectives when we established Abri back in 2018-19 was that we recognised that of course we always must strive to be the best landlord possible and provide great services, to provide high quality affordable homes within the area. But there was a, a strong recognition that the times we find ourselves in, there is a, a need within our communities for other services that are complementary to our service offer. So here at Aubrey, we provide employment, training, education and community development activities. Aubrey engages with customers in many different ways, working with a network of stakeholders and organisations to help support their objectives. But they also like to be out in the community and often meet up with customers in local facilities. And of course then we have our resident scrutiny panel, which is an intrinsic part of our organisation and our governance structures, in which our customers are supported to, to undertake investigatory quality checks of the work that we undertake on their behalf, and then provide directly feedback to the board within the organisation in terms of what we're getting right and where customers feel we can improve. Mansbridge is an Abri neighbourhood, identified by them as needing extra support. They encourage groups run by the community for the community, which help to manage issues such as loneliness and mental health. I think they're very committed to the residents around here because Abri supply things like this, allotments, they, they, they put on um, events on the green, they, they do it, it they're, um, their maintenance is fantastic, so you, you couldn't fault Abri for what they do. Mansbridge is a great example of Abri's commitment to creating supportive communities, empowering lives and tackling the big issues like homelessness and climate change. These eco-homes are powered by an on-site biomass boiler. It's all part of a five-year community investment plan worth £15 million. But the company is determined that its growth over the last few years, managing 35,000 homes with 100,000 customers, won't mean a one-size-fits-all approach. I will shortly be recruiting three regional managing directors and assembling uh, regional boards that will oversee our priorities and our service responses within those localities. Those regional boards will be made up of customers and stakeholders within those localities to hold us to account, but also to drive that innovation and thinking and ensuring that we are continuing to learn and respond to the needs within that locality. If successful, this model could lead the way for the housing sector, working to ensure that the essential expansion of accessible housing remains focused on customer needs. What we are committed to ensuring is that we reap the benefits of our scale in terms of being able to invest more in services, being able to build more homes, to be able to create a more resilient organisation, but not at the expense of that local connectivity that's imperative to our DNA, but also our legitimacy to be community anchors within our customer and community base.